Once you've got the side view drawn, it's very easy to draw the top view. Start by creating your first dowel. Like before, you need to leave a small distance between the side view and where you're going to draw the top view. Draw the guideline for your first dowel piece. If you're uncertain about where the supports in the top view has to go, just have a look at the side view. Wherever there's a support touching the top beam, that would be a good place for a support in the top view too. Remember, the top and the bottom view have the same width. You can see what the width is in your bottom view and duplicate it in your top view. Measure accurately and draw the guidelines for the second dowel of the top view. Remember, accurate dowel measurements are important. There we go, the top view is finished. Remember, the length of the top view has to be exactly the same length as the top dowel in the side view. Use your guidelines to make sure you are accurate. Just like for the top view, you can identify where to support the bottom view by looking at your side view. The loading surface is the strongest part of your bridge. You do not have to support it beneath. Make sure that each horizontal and vertical line is placed on a guideline that crosses the entire page. Darken the outlines of the bridge components so that they are easy to see. We still have to add the tunnel view. Remember, this goes next to the side view and it is exactly as high as the side view. The horizontal distance of the tunnel view is identical to the width of the bottom view. Take the measurements from there to be sure you are accurate. Check your corners. Make sure it's clear where dowels are attached to other dowels. Guidelines and outlines can make it easy to communicate clearly and to be more accurate. You still have to add all the measurements to your drawing. Please look at the film about important facts to make sure you do this correctly and accurately.